Oh God. Holy shit. Oh my God. Hey monster. You catch that one? Yeah. You hear that high fidelity burp? That was brought to you by Monster and Sure. So Sure, if you'd like to sponsor us too. This is uh, this is Parafox in 2022, where yeah. we still beg Monster to sponsor us. But now we're begging Sure. Now that we are officially using Sure microphones. Sure microphones. A whole lot better sounding than our AT 2020s. Yeah, you can have our you can have your little logo on the bottom left corner. And that uh, fading into the monster logo when Monster sponsors us. Sure, Monster. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Parafox. I'm, I'm Chris. I'm Scout. I, I did the intro. Oh my God, we are off. I am Scout. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chris. I'm Scout. And we're off our game. Hey, Scout, remember that time we were saying that Parafox is back and then I immediately got sick? <laughs> <laughs> well it, it technically was back we still had episodes coming out but. yeah but i feel like now is a good time to explain so i thought i i, I think i got the c word uh the, the cunt word. rotavirus the cracker yeah no I, I thought i got the cracker virus yeah the cracker which virus. I, I honestly i got and i'm still dealing with to this day but the thing about it is uh i thought i no i, th I thought i got the rona I seriously thought I got the Rona and that sucks, but I went down to get myself tested and my God, everything's so backed up. I think it was I, one of the worst experiences of my life. I was, I felt so bad for you. Y you don't even know. I was, I, I was just like, oh my God, Chris is, he, he's going to be there forever. He's just <laughs> going to live there. Well, the worst part is I text you guys and I'm like, Hey, I would like some Cheez-Its and a Sody Pop <laughs> if anyone wants to come. Of course, like one, everyone thought I was kidding. And a part right. of me was, a part of me was kidding, but part of me was also really serious. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there for five hours hours for the rapid testing oh like, man in my brand new 2003 red ford ranger i finally got it yep yep it looks really nice i have no car payments thanks insurance Sh oh. insurance is a scam but <laughs> no I, I i got really acquainted in that truck but i was going i was going crazy because we haven't set up the stereo or anything in there right so like I, i'm just kind of sitting in line and i'm using my mobile data to start catching up on the boys mm -hmm. you know that superhero dark side anti-capital consumer boomer uh show from amazon prime ironically <laughs> enough like <laughs> Great show, by the way. I I, I, th I think I'm getting slayed into it. I don't think I know what you're talking about. You don't honestly. know about the boys? I don't know about the boys. The boy. Okay, so the boys is essentially a show talking about what it would be like if we had superheroes, right? In the world of America as it is today, but with the power of like celebrity dub in you know online influencers like they are like essentially a, like a cultural uh they're, they're a cultural piece as well huh. and it touches on like a lot of things like here's my here's my bit I, I'm, on, I'm on season two episode four okay so here's my hunch i think it has to do i, I think they're basically saying like this is an allegory to fascism <laughs> i know that sounds crazy but it's like if you think about it hollywood movies are always selling the military to us right Right. Like, you know, Transformers and like Department of Defense. Actually, surprisingly enough, um, Second Thought just put out a new video for this. Oh, really? And uh, yeah, no, he actually goes over how Hollywood sells us war and stuff like that. You but, stay on top of Second Thought a lot. I love Second Thought. I, I know a lot of people like call him a tanky and whatnot, but it's just like, I feel like he's just a baseline Marxist, you know? But I feel like if you're if you're like a hardcore anarchist, yeah. everyone's a tanky. Oh, yeah. I, and that not to like, you know, fuck with the left or anything, but if you talk about the left, you're going to fuck with the left. We are... We're pretty divided. Now, I could be wrong, <laughs> but I think this might be a new route. Ah, oh, just like it's a new year. Yeah, a new year. For a new me. 2022. 2020 second thought. That's still weird to say. I mean... 2022. I don't know, man. It's our, I'm, I'm like... I'm hedging my bets on this one because Betty White's already dead. Yeah. Like, I, I just kind of want to like jump into like a reverse hyperbolic time chamber, you know? <laughs> I jump into it and time slows down, but the world speeds up. Betty <laughs> you White. You know what I mean? She announced her 100. Uh... She's like, I'm so healthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking died, dude. It's just like with John Madden. It's John just Madden? Like with John Madden, who also died. John Madden. John Madden. 
What? I can't even remember what song that's from. Is that a Chief Keef thing? I have no idea. I think we can catch this. Oh, Venonat's always nice. Does it even evolve? Yeah. What does it evolve into? I can't even remember. A Venomoth. And that's what again? Uh, a Pokemon. <laughs> I, I, for the life of me, cannot bring to memory like an image or morsel of evidence that this is a Pokemon that exists. Why don't you pull it up <laughs> on your phone? I don't. That That's irresponsible to do while recording, but I'm definitely not doing it. Venomoth. Also, your dad sent me like an Amazon gift card. Yeah, that was a weird thing. Cause like I've only talked to him once, but I think that was a very nice gesture that he did. It was. It was very nice of so, him. So shout out to your dad shout for buying me new boots for father. work because I really needed those. <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually gonna get new boots? I I'm actually so do need stupid. New boots. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm so dumb. Well, now I don't need to look up what a Venomoth is. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I will never know what it is. Oh, oh, that's so sad. And we're poisoned. I didn't even I Scout. didn't even pay attention. I'm sorry. This is what happens when we take time off. <laughs> this is what happens when you take time off. Unironically. Oh, my God. That I forgot so where we were. I was messing with the levels and stuff because we were like Clipsy McGee. We don't even have to keep this part in. But oh, yeah, no, I, I actually do need new boots because, uh, well, I do a lot of walking for work. So I, yeah. I looked at my shoes that I got in August and they're completely bald. Are those your uh, Doc Martens? Or? No, no, my Doc Martens is what I'm wearing now, but they're like, there's my my foot is like a hobbit. Yeah. So they're like really big and wide and tall and disgusting and hairy. <laughs> Actually, they're less hairy now that I've been wearing like tight boots. Oh yeah. Like I've no, I've just noticed like uh, I've had a lot of like clothes rub off on my hair. Have you ever had that? Oh. Like yeah, yeah. On a, like especially when I'm wearing sweatpants. Yeah, it's like it's like re reverse puberty. Instead of waking up one day and it's like, oh, that hair wasn't there before. It's like, oh, that bald spot wasn't there before. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. That's a weird thing. Like the inside of my thighs since I got I gained weight again. <laughs> Like, they've been rubbing up against my pants. Holy shit. So now, like, the side of my thigh is just... Oh my Snoozy God. just knocked out this bird with one headbutt. He's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot exactly I forgot exactly what I was talking about. Is We're this... talking about getting new boots. Oh, uh, yeah. But, like, before that, talking about second thought... Oh, yeah. You yeah. need to watch The Boys. Yeah. Like, okay, so The Boys is we essentially... Yeah. About. It's basically, like, the dark side of superhero -dom. Right. It's like a pretty, like, I would say, like, somewhat left-leaning view of, like, how superheroes work. But imagine Invincible, but with, like, Twitter. <laughs> I, I know that sounds really stupid. Yeah, it's it's dumb politics and social media added into it. Oh, lovely. But no, like, they're actually, like, they're trying to get, like, military con uh, contracts to go invade Syria and shit like that. Oh, my God. Dude, no, I'm not, I'm not kidding. It's a great fucking show. Like, I would, because I hate, I hate superhero movies. I truly hate superhero movies, but these guys who are actually having like really good criticisms about like the world around superheroes is actually pretty interesting. So, I mean, that's why I kind of like the Joker, even though it was kind of um, boomer tier, you know, oh, yeah. the, the, the more I think about Joker, I remember praising it. It probably was even on Parafox, but I, I remember thinking it was like, oh, this is such a grand movie. We, yeah. But I think it was like, I think I found it more amusing because the, the director was not making the point he was trying to make. That's so funny because we were, uh, we were talking about uh, the, or no, we went to the movie all together. Yeah, me, you, Dylan, and Slade. And daily. But yeah, we all went there. And there were there were so many times in that movie where we were just like, this is so fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's funny just because like the director was just like, oh yeah, I'm going to trigger a bunch of liberal snowflakes with this movie. Yeah. And it's like, dog, you're doing the leftism. Specifically when Joker Donker. was beating the shit out of one of his friends. Oh God! <laughs> you know what? You know what movie? Spoiler alert! By the way, you know what r movie reminds me of like Joker vibes? What? Uh, Bobcat Goldthwait? Goldthorpe? Uh, his movie God Bless America. Uh, we oh, recently yeah. watched that, and it's like it's kind of one of those just like man, a boomer really did write this movie. Like I'm sorry, but it's just one of those things where it's like okay, yeah, I get it. You're an old guy, and you are like, oh, things are different now. Yeah, my <laughs> my generation is no longer my generation anymore. 
And I've got to ask you, Scout, as a Zoom... As, oh, you're not really a Zoomer, but... I'm as, a as someone who's growing up in Gen Z. Yeah, Gen Z. What do you think about, like, this whole new... It, I don't think it's really real, but there's enough annoying people maybe on Twitter or just the internet for me to ask the question. What do you think of, like, the intergenerational, quote-unquote, beef between millennials and Zoomers? Because I feel like it's just something that was made up by a marketing team that just has never existed. I think it is incredibly stupid. Uh, first of all, like, if you really think about it, the different in generation gap between millennials and gen x isn't really like that big with millennial and gen x you said yeah or gen z sorry oh yeah i mean well yeah 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 i i guess you know depending on what side of millennial you are gen x isn't that far away either right yeah wait is gen x after i forget no gen x is before millennial okay yeah 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 that's like what m my dad and your dad were oh okay so people like with in, in the age of like 40 to yeah like they did uh they did basically the wto riots and that was the only base thing they really did got it got it <laughs> <laughs> um but but no yeah i think that it's really stupid to well for one that's a fucking lapras yeah that was a lapras just in the daycare or not the daycare let's kidnap it wait a minute wait, can we get that no we can't get it but but i want it could be wrong here <gasps> This god. is a Pokemon. Oh my god, zoo? this is the Safari Zone! Oh shit, yeah, we got Safari Zones. We can catch Pokemon in the Safari Zone! What are our chances of a really dope ass Pokemon in the Safari Zone? Pretty high. Do you think we have enough money to do it? <laughs> it's, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying we're just, you know, rolling in the dough here, but we flexing. Just safari. a little bit. Safari! Oh my god. Are you happy, Scout? I am <laughs> so happy. Because we might be able to get a grass-type Pokemon. Oh, yeah. And well, you killed one. So uh, if we end up getting a Venonat, I'd be a little disappointed. Because here, we could get like a Rhydon, like Rhydon this dick. That's a Nidoran. We, are, we already got one of those. We already got, <laughs> we already got and oh, no. lost one of those. <laughs> the memories come flooding back. Oh, my God. Wait, how All far right. do we have to get into Safari Zone for like dope-ass Pokemon? I have no idea. You do well. Is that worth it? Is it worth? It, it's what we first came across. We have to get it. We can't trade Pokemon, can we? <laughs> no, we cannot. All right. Bird three. Let's try this. Safari ball. <laughs> nope. <laughs> God damn it. You know what I just thought about? There's two birds. Dr. Fauci. Oh, my One God. One mask. Two mask. One mask. Two mask. God, I was hoping I could get that out of my head at this point. Oh, uh, but you, now it's literally a bird that has one mask, two mask. I go to I go to sleep, ah! and all I think about is that comedy bit. That guy was in Half Baked. Do you know how much I loved that movie when I was a dumbass? I mean, I still am, but you know, I was a less smarter dumbass. Oh, uh, what should we name this one? Doctor Fauci. Doctor Fauci. Doctor Fauci. Let's Fauci. go. Or just we don't have enough room for one one mask, two mask. We might have. Oh, do we? I don't think nah. we do. Ah. Let's, do, let's stick with Doctor Fauci. Tony Fauci, eh? Doctor Fauci. Doctor Fauci. <laughs> I fucking hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Wait. We could do one mask, two mask if we like take away the space. No, nah, Doctor Fauci's perfect. Dr. Fauci's perfect. Let's not editorialize. Dr. Fauci. This is how you Yeah, that's how you spell it. Watch us have spelt it wrong. <laughs> On this whole journey, I've been like spell checking you. One mask, two masks. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so much. Like, the joke is funnier because you're making fun of it. Yeah. Like, it, he's not funny at all anymore. He is I don't so know what not happened. funny. It is unbearably unfunny. Like, this guy was in Half Baked with Dave Chappelle. Oh. Uh, like, someone who is, you know, funny most of the time. That is, oh, man. Like, you, you do you remember the old gif, uh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool, I'm out? No, I do not. <laughs> Wait, really? I do not. Oh, dude, we're going to have to show you Half Baked. It's a really stupid fucking movie. But oh, it, yeah. it's it's a stoner classic, and you, being a person who doesn't do drugs, you're not going to understand any of it. Oh, you're wonderful. You're going to be like, yes, this is a realistic take of what marijuana is like. Yeah. And on the next episode of Parafox... We're going to force feed all your dogs marijuana. And we're going to put them... We're just 
They're gonna put him in a chokehold. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> ah, animal and, cruelty. And put a mask on him. One mask, two mask, dog mask. Subscribe. <laughs>